so much more of life You said you need to find out who you are You said it's just the same thing on a different night You don't know how we ever got this far You said the way I treat you only brings you down You said we were too young for real love You said Hello everyone, um, welcome to Modules Live. Um, I'd like to thank Luke. Luke, what was that song called? Daydreamer. Daydreamer, oh, really we could have guessed yeah. that really, couldn't we? Uh, we're, um, we're live this evening, uh, we're going to start shaking up the show until the end of February now. And, uh, yeah, we've been working on a format all day, haven't we? We have, yes. Yes. Big um, old post-it, well, lots of post-it notes. There is, there's Great, a whole yes. wall full there's of a post-it whole, notes, yeah. isn't there? So, uh, um, what we wanted to do is we've done lots of launches recently and until now, probably till about the end of February, there's things to talk about, there's new products and bits and pieces, but not so much, it's less launches and we thought it'd be time to be a bit more sociable yes. and just kind of say hello to everyone and all that. So on the screen, I think if Luke's showing it now, can you press that, yeah, there's, um, we're going to start doing like a topic of the week, like me and Luke used to do back, you know, where we talk about something. In this particular episode, we're going to say... Um, because it's very Beatles here at the moment. Uh, um, what are you into? The Beatles, what's your favourite moment? So whether it's like, say, like the Twist and Shout single, or whether you're, you know, your favourite song, or you like the way George wears his hair, or his clothes, or, you know, that, yeah. that kind of thing. And if you blow, say what you like about them, and tag someone, so that's important, you say, I like this about the Beatles, and tag someone that might be interested in the show, mm -hmm. what might they win, Ria? Well, they might win. Dun, 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 dun. 
Not one. Not one. But two. Not two. Oh, no, two. Hang on, show me to the clothes shop. I'm thinking, can you see Some that? fancy, I think, very Christmassy tights. Yeah. So, um, so yes, yeah, sorry, it's... Yeah. Through. Yeah, um, it's just, um, it's a little bit blatant. Um, if you tag someone, it helps us. Because we want to get this show to be more and more popular. There's lots of plans, like you saw Luke just uh, singing a second ago. And something that we really want to do is have a lot more people on. And I've been talking to people about coming in, singing a song, and making it much more magazine. Yes. Bit, um, I suppose a bit like, you know, um, Chris Evans' old show. Oh, OK, yeah. Yeah, I can't remember the name. What, um... Two, Don't forget two. your toothbrush. No, that was on the... It doesn't matter. Anyway, um... And so it's a bit more kind of magazine-y, a bit more interesting, a bit more social, and a bit more chat. So don't forget, put your favourite people's comment below, tag someone. And That's the important the step. That's the important step. Is that... Oh, and we will announce the winner tomorrow. Yeah. Um, on Facebook, and we'll contact them. We will. So. I don't know what else to say about that. I think we're, we're good on that. That's everything, I think. Yeah. It is. Um, so, yeah. Social so media shout-outs. We ought to do some social media shout-outs. Uh, there's bound to be a lot of people watching. They normally are. Obviously, them. like normal, oh, um, comment any questions as well that you've got about anything. Yep. Yeah. Um, what have we got? Gemma, my mum, Debbie. Um, who else? Dawn Gillespie. Hello. Rolo says, what a sex super man that was singing then. Um, who else? Trevor. Hello, Trevor. Um, Kai is watching from Germany. Uh, who else we got here? Jason Brummel, uh, Trevor Pritchard, Michael Phillips. Uh, who else? John Evans, Pete Cole. Who won the LP last week? It was Paul Rutter. Paul Rutter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> I think them. Yeah. It's coming in the post, by the way, if Paul's watching. Yep. Uh, Julie Blaines is watching, and I think that's all. An evening, uh, Paul Rutter and Julie Keller. Uh, uh, Gemma McDowell, well done to Luke for finishing his 20k tab. Yes, well done to Luke. Luke, who you just saw, is for charity. You've been doing, is it 20k a day? Yeah. So you've been 20,000 miles a day on your push bike, haven't you? 20 kilometres. Yeah, 20 kilometres. 2,000 miles a day would have been there. Yeah, that'd be just ridiculous. Crikey. Yeah, yeah, that'd be quite something. I finished it today. Yep, yeah, good for you, man. Um, oh, yeah, and uh, you've raised quite a lot of money for Sue Ryder, haven't you? Yeah, 700 quid I raised. Oh, 700 amazing. quid, I think that's pretty good. A really um, good charity. I think that is. Yeah. I've, I've left the thing we're going to talk about just there, look. Oh, yes. <laughs> just uh, skip that very Oh! Well, and a tradition that's coming back, before we get too far into this, um, me and Luke used to always have a beer or something oh, to think Oh, Shelby with. room. So I've got, let me see if I can get that close-up camera. This this has been in I think the fridge for the last year, so I haven't looked at the sale by de oh dear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> here, here we go. So um. Ooh. Ooh. It's okay. Right, we are talking about the top I'm wearing and the Star Council top. Look, you got the graphic up for us. Is that a yeah? Good man. Um, Paul Weller, Star Council, lots of tops. He's like a walker. Is it? He's working. What's that? Walking. Walking wardrobe. That's it. <laughs> he is. He's like, oh, bless him. He's got some amazing stuff. Um, I think the top, this this one that's inspired that we've done, is from about 1985. It's a lovely look. It's gorgeous. Top. It's lovely. You've just literally put one on for the second, haven't you, Luke? Uh, just a second ago. Yeah, and they're proper, they're proper nice. It's nice to feel. And I don't think um, a lot Let's of people notice that there. there's actually green stripes in there as well. I think a lot of people think it's black and white stripes, but it's black, white and green. Yeah, lovely jumper. Now, I'm wearing mine with a T-shirt underneath. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about this earlier, talking about these sort of jumpers. Yes. I wouldn't say it's a winter, winter jumper. No, like it, an autumn yeah. sort of jumper. But I was also, we also made the point that if you could wear this with jeans, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and you could wear it with trousers, obviously. Yes. But one of the things you could do where the versatility comes in, you could wear it with a t-shirt underneath or not. Mm -hmm. If you take the t-shirt off, I reckon that's a sort of spring yes. or, e or summer evening. Yeah, it's quite light, isn't it? But it is. Yeah. Very comfortable. Yeah, I think, that, I think that's really nice. So they're on the website. Um, they're really what else to say other than they're really nice about 15,000 times. You've done a close up of it, you look yeah. Can you just go again for me? Show that green. Yeah, show nice. that green. Can we show? Is that showing the green now? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a green and it's black. So it's not all just black stripes, which I think is quite nice. It gives mm. it a, a certain edge that you wouldn't, you wouldn't see, say, on the high street. Um, and obviously, I do need, if we're talking all things weather, I do need to mention this. Because on Friday, <laughs> dun, 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 Mr. Weather wore one of these. 
Um, I can't believe that. That was just probably the most exciting thing ever of that day. Very I mean, it was a proud moment. That was quite exciting, wasn't it? Yeah, very exciting. <laughs> to say the least. Um, his was originally a cycling shirt. This is a t shirt version of that cycling mm-hmm. shirt. Um, it's worn in. We've sold quite a few of these over the weekend, mm. thanks, thanks to his patronage. Um, what else can we say about it? I've got one on underneath. It's nice. Oh. Yeah. What else do you say? Double stripe. Yeah, I think we are. So <laughs> let's do some social media shout-outs. Yes. I'm talking too much. You it it surely it must be your... It'll be me in a second. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's mm-hmm. okay. Um, where are we watching this? Um, Luke. Luke must be in France by now. Pete Cole says. Well, yeah. I feel like it. <laughs> uh, well done Luke proud of his Judy says well done Luke says my mum uh, Terry Grant doing well her graphics looks ace mate yeah uh, um, fantastic Richard's watching and Chris Dunn is watching so remember if you want to win the tights you have to just say something you like about the Beatles and tag someone just remember that tag someone so uh, um, yeah. as easy as that as easy as that has anyone so, entered I, I'm, I don't see a lot entering yet, but that's just, that's because I think they're not quite getting what we're what we're trying to achieve. But we'll uh, we'll keep working on that. We'll keep working. Hopefully. Yeah, and um, that's all the social media work uh, shout outs. There's quite a few other friends. I think we're good there. I think got an advert. We can now. go for an advert. Mm-hmm. Here we have three new exciting additions to the John Lennon Icon series. All three are inspired by John. The Get Back shirt is inspired by the one Lennon wears in the new documentary series, Get Back. He can also be seen wearing it whilst recording the magnificent Hey Jude. John had several all red shirts in his Beatle careers and featured in the film Help. Here we have the lovely cord shoes, very similar to the ones John wore at the Sgt Pepper press release in 1967. These create pieces part of the Icon range by 66 clothing and mod shoes. Three ways to style. We're on. We're back. We are. Welcome. Is that where we are? Uh, we are, we are you, yes. Yeah, Did yeah. you want to answer that question first? Yeah, um, how do you tag someone? Um, you generally, when with a comment like that, you start ty- typing someone's name. So, Julie, if you was going to type like Nikki, is it, you, you'd start typing their name, so Nicola Lindsay, and eventually it should tag us. Oh, and if it doesn't at. work, put an at. You know the little at thing, like what you have in an email address? So put at, and then start typing their name. Generally, it will work. I think, just have a go. Shall I have a go while you're coming? It's yeah. your go, so Okay, you so on. I'll... I'll entertain. Um, so, as you may have seen a couple of weeks ago, we launched these beautiful, beautiful boots. If I put them up on a close-up here, they are the Polly's. Um, these are ladies' boots. And they've been very popular, haven't they? Yep. And they're part of the um, Shelby range that we have, the Peaky Blinders range, sorry. Um, And yeah, so I thought I'd just talk a little bit more about these um, and three ways to style them. So if you look up on the screen now, you'll see these beautiful ladies. And these are our ambassadors. And the first lady here is um, sort of, actually, I don't know how it's displayed on screen, is it? The lady on the left, sorry, um, she's gone for a bit of a, I'd say a bit of a Victorian sort of yep. look, don't you that. think? Yeah. Um, and she's paired that with a skirt, which I think actually looks really gorgeous. Um, and I love the tones in that outfit, so it shows that you can wear these boots with a skirt um, quite well. I think what she's what she's successfully done there is matched, matched or got very similar to the yes. colour of the top. Yes. And then put something in the middle, so it's not just one colour. No, and it's yeah. kind of taken that away from it. Yes, it has. Um, yeah. And a hair matches it as well. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fantastic. Um, and then you'll see on your right, you've got three pictures um, of Claire, and she has she went for a Peaky Blinders shoot, and I just, these photos are just amazing, aren't they? Yes. I love the way she styled this outfit. It's very chic. Um, it goes well with the theme of the boots. Yep, very. Also quite, I'd say quite Edwardian. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's 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 a little bit kind of, it could be any time between, well, if she was going to be wearing that outfit in the 1800s, yeah. she would almost certainly be a very much a feminist. Yes, yeah, so, <laughs> she so, would, so, yeah. suffragette, I imagine. Yes, definitely. Um, but, but that look, to me, is right up to the wall, mm. just about. Yeah. You know, it's got that kind of look to it. The pictures I love, they're mm-hmm. taken at Chroma. Uh, I think they're taken on Chroma Pier. Yes. Um, I don't know if you've been to Chroma Pier, but it is kind of, it's old in a kind of nice way. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah beautiful. Probably 10 years ago, it seemed like really old mm. and a bit outdated, but now oh. it seems really nice. Why can't we have a pier? What, in Peterborough? Yeah. Where would we have the pier? I don't know, anywhere. anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
But it just shows that you can wear these with trousers and it actually looks good tucked in. So I never thought of tucking in trousers in. So what would you, you, you were talking about so, the look? Well, I would wear, I've worn them with tights and a skirt and a, I also would wear them with jeans actually okay. and I'd probably make them a bit more modern and it, with these boots you can you can go both ways can't you you can style them modern or you can style them vintage well I suppose that's the thing is just when we had one of the ladies that wore one of our outfits yes and um, you know they're kind of a classic 70s shoe but yeah. the lady wore them she wore them with white jeans and a kind of a, a sort blazer. of brown top yeah and, and it's I think it's just your imagination that perhaps it really is. just stops people, you know what I mean? It's, and uh, that's the thing, I think you can, with mod shoes, although they are retro shoes, you can style them in so many different ways. Yes. Um, and that's yeah. the beauty behind it. So. Yeah, I totally agree with that one. Um, I think we're done on the poly. Yes, we are. We are. Are they um, £125? Pounds? 100, yeah, £125. <laughs> and pounds. sell them fast, so if you want any for Christmas. Yep. Right. Them. Shall we play an advert and get yes. on to our next subject? Yeah. yeah. Shelby boots there. Mm, very um, popular. Shelby video, boots that are one. really popular. I mean, they've been very, very good for us. Um, yeah, Peaky Blinders inspired. I think it's back in the new year. They keep on about the series um, keeps being advertised on the BBC. Yeah. Is back in the new year. I need so, to watch the and last it's the final season. one. No. Yeah, I was there on the Wednesday night at the first, but it's shown on BBC Two at nine o'clock. Really? Not, not that I remember. Right. <laughs> so, uh, um, it's been good. Anyway, we're going to scuttle over to um, let's do a couple of social media shout outs because I think yep. we, um, some people are getting their hang around where they just put the at thing and put someone's name and you're getting it. Um, there's a few Beatles things coming in, which neatly brings us into what we're going to be talking about this evening. So, for instance, Fade Beatles moment, their back catalogue finally coming out on streaming music platforms. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was that was a big thing. How much of the boots? One, two, five. We've answered. Uh, what have we got? Love Ria's dress. Gemma says. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Um, Julie says this boy. Um, this boy is a great song. It's B side of I Wanna Hold Your Hand. And um, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a great song. There's some, the beat was really didn't write very many bad songs. There's there's probably six. Ooh. You know what I mean? And I'm not getting into who what ones, don't you dare ask me what ones. <laughs> I was so tempted. <laughs> um, um, yellow Submarine. <laughs> yeah, I love Yellow Submarine. I think it's a great song. So, uh, um, But, um, you know, what band at the top of the world, well, if you're going to get into Beatles discussion, what band at the top of the world releases a kid's song? You know what I mean? Mm. They are the biggest band in the world and they release a kid's song. I know you're just getting bad, bad like memories of school, aren't you? Getting flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway, we're, gi we're gibbering. Uh, um, uh, what I wanted to talk about, if you look at the new Get Back film, there's some really good bits. Um, if you go on, let me just show you, because I've got a book here. Um, the book comes with it. Luke, can you do the close-up for me? Thank you, mate. If you look, uh, the Get Back movie's been out this weekend, the documentary. Um, it's got some brilliant, brilliant pictures inside here. And if you get to watch, let me show you that to the screen so you can see it. This is the famous bit where they're on the rooftop. Um, in the end of the documentary, if you watch it right to the end, they play all of them. Mm. And um, it is a magical moment. It's a great I'm, image, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's fab. I mean, it's... Um, what's, let me hold that up so Luke can probably show it while we talk oh. about it. Uh, um, I don't know if you know, but like... Um, John is wearing, you know, like a fur coat he borrowed off someone. Oh, I love that. Yeah, they both are. It was freezing up there, you know. And if you watch that, it's it's fantastic. This, that that though that, that three quarters of an hour then playing is, oh, it's just brilliant. It's <laughs> just so good. I was so happy watching that. Um, and as they've cleaned it all up, I don't know if you can see. Let me get that into the camera as well, Luke. I don't know if you know, but if you see that picture there. 
right? When they did the original film, it was all blurred and looked awful, you know. Now it's kind of really sharp. And it's just, yeah, it's just mega. Now, from a mod shoe's point of view, there are loads of different um, pieces in it where we are going to be inspired. <laughs> there's quite a few things in there where, um, and there's obviously the Get Back shirt, which we, um, I think that was on the 20th, where he's wore, and he wore it, he wears it for tons in the pro. In Does the, he? Yeah, yeah, it's so good. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just absolutely amazing. But anyway, um, that's because I'm busy reading it. I'm trying to find the picture, but I'm not going to. So, um, yeah, that's the end of that discussion, really. I mean, I can go on and on about the Beatles for forever. Um, as you pour, you have to put up with the word, don't you? I do. Yeah. Uh, where's my script? <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> what was that? Oh! Right. <laughs> um, okay, so um, for anyone who follows us on Instagram, um, for a long time, for a long, long time, yep. um, we've done the hashtag me and my mod shoes. Now, whenever um, we are tagged with that tag, um, I always share onto our uh, um, stories, and sometimes we also do a Thursday post where we reshare the customers' That's right. um, posts of them wearing mod shoes. That's good. So, I thought I would pick out three of my favourites over the past couple of weeks of customers who have um, tagged us. Okay. So you've got them there, so, I think Luke can show it on the screen. Yep. Yeah. Um, so first up we've got um, Stacey, now she's got so many of our shoes and she's wearing the Pippas there, um, which are a gorgeous shoe and I think she's, that's a very recent photo, so it shows that she's wearing these shoes in the cold as well. And yeah, she's, yeah. <laughs> she's loving it, so. Well I think she was, um, that was taken at Skegness. Oh was um, it? So it was, I think that was a Soul Weekender, or certainly a Soul Night. Oh. Um, her and her friend um, wear them all the time, they go to Soul all all night it's yeah they're right? always tagging us on yes they? yeah fair. absolutely and she looks fair. beautiful so yes yeah i really love that image yeah, um I agree. and then next up we've got carlos wearing the ricos now we've just had a restock of the ricos haven't yep. we in both blue and white um and they're, they're quite popular selling out quite fast they, are really, they? they they took us up by surprise to be fair yeah yeah, yeah. they've been they've been really pretty good the the shoe you've got a pair luke haven't you they're super soft aren't they yeah, they, they are really nice to mm, wear. I do like um, them. They are, you know. A lot of our shoes, I mean, even look, we're going to mention these in a minute, take very little wearing in. Um, that's, a, that's a kind of real thing. Of, yes, yeah, 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 it's yeah, an important thing, isn't it? But what, what a great image that is. What, 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 are, what are all those pillars and why are they so know. close? I don't think he's in England. No, I'm trying to um, work out But that I love the way, I love the shirt. I think it's, it's quite loud, isn't it? But it yeah. works. Yes, it's fair. All the colours work and shows that you can wear trainers yeah. with a shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, now, what's the last Ooh. image on the right hand side? And then yeah, we yes. have, I'm really sorry if I pronounce her name wrong, Marcia. Um, and she's wearing the flares. Um, and it's just, I love this image. It's just such a fun and happy picture. Um, and she's co coordinated those shoes with everything in that outfit. I love it. I really do. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with that. It's interesting she's wore those shoes with like, we used to call those bim, like the not Bermuda shorts, but they're kind of three quarter length yes. trousers. Yeah. You know, and that's a real good look. It is, yeah. yeah it's I a love real it. sort of summer happy look. I imagine if you wore that on holiday, mm. you, you could wear that on holiday and sort of look cool. Yes, you really yeah, could, yeah. 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 No, that, that's good. I, I, I really like that. Lee, Lee Knowles has wrote about the Ricos. Honestly, the, the, the only trainers in a long time I've rivaled to my Adidas. For the amount I wear them, he, he does wear them oh. a lot. You know, you wear yours all the time, don't you? Yeah, the, do, yeah, yeah, the Ricos, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're a really, really good trainer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, we're very pleased with them, to say the least. I think. Is there anything else, Rachel? So. Oh, just to, so obviously, when you tag us, please use that tag, and you you will um, get a chance to be reshared on our page. So, uh, and we love to see all these pictures. And well, it's... the the thing with that hashtag, me and my module, was the idea was that. Uh, we used to have a competition. Yes, so, um, hoping to bring that back. I'm, I'm not against bringing that back, mm. perhaps in the new year. So, yeah. you know, hashtag me and my mod shoes, and every now and again, some lucky person will probably win some yeah. shoes. Yeah, I think that can't be quite a fun thing to do. Definitely. Anyway, let's go to an advert and we'll talk about some other bits. I don't think 
when we used to um, just just so you bore you down there, I've got the uh, what you're watching playing, and it used to be about thirty or forty seconds behind. That's mm. now only ten seconds behind. Ooh. I know. <laughs> so um, obviously we've come off a bad list. Naughty <laughs> 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 boy list. I'm doing something good. List. Anyway, um, yeah, the advert you saw just there, um, there's these shoes, they're on the website, we've got them here, I don't know if Luke, you can see them in the cameras behind, um, been selling well, they're nice shoes, mm. uh, Lizzie's done some, a great interview which you can find on YouTube. Yes, you can, yes, with yeah. myself. Um, we're going to end nearly uh, with a couple of other things, uh, restocks and shout outs, so restocks, um, the, can you see that Luke, these are the big shop boots. Um, we do do these in a ladies and up to men's sizes. Um, let's do that so you can see that. It's basically different to the Shelby. It's kind of a more, um, not Edwardian, it's, bit, it's just a bit, a bit more military. It's a bit more narrow. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit more kind of firm there. Um, based on a pair of boots that are, um, without the two fucking it's going to thread of mine had back in the 80s. And, uh, um, but they're made of super soft leather. Mm, um, oh, gorgeous. Really, really, really nice. Yeah, good winter boot. Um, Tim, oh, I don't know if he's watching, loves his. He's, he's got all three pairs, I think. Really good. So that's them. So that's the big shots, and they're on the website. And the men's ones, of those have come back in. Um, these are the Charles in Tan. Um, really, really good shoe. I love mine of these. Now, it's super wide on that front bit there. Let me just try and do that so you can see it. Uh, deliberately super wide. Why? Because it's kind of like a 70s kind of uh, feel to it. Very northern soul, very scar and all of that. But but nevertheless, with the colour, um, it's also got like a country gent look to it, which I think is fab. Mm -hmm. I love wearing these with jeans, a Lacoste top, not Lacoste, um, Kabichi top. And I, when we go out for a meal, I've worn these several mm, times now. You know, they just smart. feel like something to go out and have a meal in, to be honest, you know. And can um, you dance in them? Yeah, oh yeah. The leather soles. They've both got leather soles, let me show you. I don't know if the close-ups on them. Both got leather soles, so they're ideal for that. They're okay. spot for that. Big shots are 142, and the Charles's are 180. Uh, so there you go. So that's enough of that. I'm nearly done. Mm -hmm. We need to just wrap up. We need to do just a couple of other things on here and then we're going to let Luke sing a song. Yes. Think, aren't we? Yeah. Is there anything else you need um, to get over? I would just say that pop in the comments anything that you want to be seen over the next few weeks on our lives, anything you want us to um, talk about. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's so, cool. So we've had quite a few people. Let's have a look. Some, uh, let's see what we've got here. Uh, Carol, some great beautiful stuff for Christmas. Yeah, good. Uh, Jason, a few other people, hello. Jason Brummel, Faye Beatles moment, that chord at the beginning of A Hard Day's Night. Um, yeah, you're quite right on that, Jason. Apparently it's a composite. Apparently it's not just a chord, it's apparently it's a bass and several people playing or something. There you go. Uh, and the feel line and the line, and in the end, the love you make is equal to the love you take. It's like their own, I can't say that word. Oh, Epitaph. Oh. oh, I can't say that. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, the recaps so are good. Been. Hello from Gloucester. Hello, Sarah. Uh, um, and Martin Gainsford, just watching. Hello, Martin. Hello. Uh, good to see you at the weekend. Uh, um, yeah, I think we're all done there. Yes. Um, we'll see you again next week. We don't have a theme yet. We don't. So. Yeah. Um, have you got any idea? I think you wanted to do yeah. Hound's Tooth, didn't you? I did, yes, yes. Yeah. That's my favourite <laughs> print, so we'll do that. Yeah, I think we'll do something like that. We're going to play an advert. I'm going to zoom over there, and Luke's going to sing us out really good song which we're all gonna love thank you for watching we'll see you all again soon bye bye, bye. now bye bye
Like pebbles on a beach Kicked around, displaced by fear All our broken stones Well, I'll try to get home Like a loser's reach Too slow and sharp to hit the peaks Tell me why this really matters Oh, oh such a cause Like a loser's reach Too slow and sharp to hit the peaks Yeah, lost and alone I'm trying to get home Devils on a beach Kicked around the splits by fear Oh, I'm broken stones Where I'm trying to get home Like a loser's reach Too slow and short to hit the beach Trying to get home by broken stones. Where I'm trying to get home.